Welcome back to another Trillis T original. It is yours truly, Tyler Reitz, coming at you today with a video all about my jean vest. Now, this was my first jean jacket, my first thing that kicked it off, and I want to show you what this one is compiled of. If you haven't seen my other jean jacket, it is a DIY a tutorial around it all. You should go check that out. Link will be below. But for this baby right now, keep watching. It's going to be in, the, in this video. And now, if you want to be just as badass as I was in that video, get yourself a jean jacket. I bought this jacket at Old Navy. It was on sale, 10 bucks. From there, I added patches. And this jacket, what you're about to see, is over the course of maybe five years now. It is a DIY fashion. It's literally just badass tits. You, you see this and you're like, wow, that's a fucking man. I am going to show you the patches first and then the pins later. So to begin, you see this patch. I got this from Drink Water. It is a snowboard company that's all about drinking water and they really hate energy drinks. If you don't know anything, the snowboard community, Monster Energy has taken over. These guys are bringing back water. That baby right there, that is from Halo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever game they're on now. That is the legendary game mode. I grew up playing Halo, if you know anything about 2009 kids. They loved Halo and that was my shit. I used to game every night with my homies to that game and so many good memories. So I had to throw a Halo patch onto the jacket for commemoration of the lost periods. Now on the left side I have a pizza patch. I put this pizza patch on four years, four years ago? Four years ago because I was going to like the punk shows and pizza was the rage. It, it, you had to be there. Pizza was a big thing with punk kids. I had for some reason pop punk and easy core and hardcore. Kids love pizza. Oh, not hardcore. Can't speak for those kids. Those are, those are gnarly kids. I'm just like, I wish one day maybe. <laughs> Dude, I, I listened to Taking Back Sunday guys. Leave me alone. Okay, leave me alone. Take my Sunday's good. It's hardcore. Just music jokes, guys. Just just some casual music jokes. Right there, a Deadpool. Put that on years ago because I used to read Deadpool comics. I used to actually own the first appearance. New Mutants 98, what's good? You know Deadpool, New Mutants 98, first appearance. Give me the gun. Boom! <laughs> My little tenders are tingling. They're tingling because. Yeah. Now, onto the back side. This is where my Satan lovers we unite. <laughs> right there, man. Get that in the shop, man. Get that in the shop, man. This back patch is from Blackcraft Cult. Let me show this. I feel like I'm not doing this justice. Man, this gets you moist. If you see this in person, you'll be like, oh man, I wanna talk to him. He's so sexy, he's so cool. Link will be below. I'm not sponsored. Just, I'm just shedding you the love. What works for me, baby, will work for you. I put this on many moons ago. It's the first patch I ever actually put on a jacket. Now, Blackcraft is all about speaking for yourself and being true to who you are without a god. Whatever you believe in, I don't really care. But what I do care about is you believing in yourself. And for me, that's 100% what I do. I don't affiliate myself with any sort of religion. I just believe in myself. That's what these guys are all standing for. I thought it was badass to have a wolf on the back with a pentagram. And then this stitching, I forgot to tell you guys about all the stitching. It, it's very punk orientated. I used just a, a broidery thread and I did my own style 
what the punks used to do, the crust punks used to do in the 90s. I did on the jacket. So you can kind of see I'm going one way and then I throw an X in, I keep going. Sometimes I go the opposite direction just to spice it up. But in essence, it is punk stitching. I got one more patch. I forget about them. Last patch right here is by the, I think it's the kidney, the left kidney. It is a System of a Down patch. Now, System of a Down is a wonderful political band that sings about propaganda and many things wrong with the country of the United States. If you haven't heard of them, check them out. Chop Suey is one song you've probably heard of. System of a Down, got that on eBay. Now, most of these links will be below for the patch. Other than that, I've kind of picked them up over the course, you know, of four to five years. Next up, little boy. Next up is the pins. Now I only have a little bit of pins. I haven't went fully out on this jacket like I have with my others, but I will begin to show what I do have. So to start, I have a Deadpool pin. It's with a question and an exclamation mark, and it's just, just Deadpool. The other one, I have a Harley Quinn. I used to read her too. I don't anymore. I quit Harley and Deadpool. I just feel like they're really pointless, really stupid humor. I mean, that's just who I am. Some people really love these guys. I don't. Not much anymore. So I might remove that. I don't know. I, I don't hate them. I like them, but you know what I mean. Going down, I have a Fago pin. Fago is the pop that Juggalos drink, or if you go to Dollar Tree, you can buy it there too. Water, fire, air, and dirt. Fucking magnets. How do they work? I mainly put that on because the whole ICP, I thought it was hilarious, so I made a pin myself, threw it on. Ooh, the best for last. This guy, man. This guy, man. <laughs> now, this Nick Cage pin is 100% original. I made this. I did every step, and I sell these on Etsy, believe it or not. Link will also be below. I am so hyped on these. It is just Nick Cage. I love Nick Cage. I grew up watching his movies. I grew up watching um, uh, literally so many. Ghost Rider, Con Air, like literally it, it keeps going on forever. But I love Nick Cage because he's a meme in the sense of he's so over the top. But also I respect him for that. So it, it's a joke but it's also like I fucking love Nick Cage. You guys probably have seen the studs that I put in the shoulders. Now I bought these studs off eBay and I went in and I manually put them all in. It's very 80s punk. Very shiny, very cool. At the time I was a little hesitant, but I really love how it makes this jacket speak for itself. It's cool. Badass shoulders, man. I cut the sleeves off. The sleeves, when I cut those off, it took about a few seconds. I really tried to line up with the stowing so I wouldn't have much fringe. To conclude this video, this has been a walk around my jean jacket. I got this jean jacket for about 10 bucks at Old Navy. Literally, you can go buy one too. I cut the sleeves off myself. I did it all by myself. You can too. And I encourage you to because these jean jackets, they speak so much more about a person than buying it yourself or like, you know, buying a pre-made one. Don't let the culture die. Don't let the punk culture, bad boy culture die. If you haven't seen my other video, go give it a like. Go give it a watch. It will be below in the description. But without further ado, you guys have a good day. Stay sexy. And you know what? Go buy yourself a jacket because girls love it. And you know what? We love girls. Well, if you're a girl, you know you love guys too. But, you know. And above all else, be who you are. Don't let anyone tell you who to be. Boom! Now, if you haven't seen Brittany, this is what she is. This it's is what I get to look at every time I come and film because she just knows how I like her dressed. And it always stays the same. She's just so seductive about it. That's all you get to see. Go home. Go do something better with your life. I love you. See you next time.